Okay, this week we're looking at Greek and Latin word parts. We're going to start with phone. And you remember that the combination of PH gives us an F sound, so phone. And the meaning of this prefix is voice. Or it can be a prefix or a suffix. Okay. Now, if you look at photo, it means light. Auto means self. Tele means distant. And graph is something written or drawn. Okay. I think you can see how this can be combined to um, create words. For instance, if I write the word auto graph, it means self-written, like a signature, okay? Telephone, if we look at the parts, it would mean distant voice, and if you think about a telephone, that's exactly what it does. So now let's look at page 75. Okay, here we are looking at page 75. Okay, don't forget to put your name on the top of the paper. Okay, let's look at our words that they have, uh, our prefixes and suffix we just talked about. Autograph, your turn. Autobiography. Automobile. Symphony, photograph, telephone, photocopy, cinematographer. Let's try that one again. Cinematographer. Okay. So, an autograph, that's somebody's signature. Autobiography, it's a story about someone that they wrote. Automobile, of course, that's a car. Symphony is like an orchestra, photograph, it's a picture, telephone, means to talk to somebody over electronic device, photocopy, means to copy something written or drawn, and cinematographer, those are the people that create movies. Okay, read the words in the box above. Look for the Greek and Latin word parts to help you understand the meaning of each word. Then use the word from the box to complete each sentence below. So let's look at word uh, number one. The movie actress signed an blank for her fans. First off, I want you to notice that it says an. Okay. Whenever we have a word that begins with a vowel, we have an instead of a before it. So I know now it's got to be one of my A words. And it says the movie actress signed and blank for her fan. Well, fans, I know, always look for an autograph. Okay? So you can go back through and listen to the words with me again. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Um, now it's your turn.